Let's talk about my top five most anticipated Disney movies of 2017, shall we? Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brandon Gozerar, and today we're going to be talking about my top five most anticipated Disney movies of 2017. And oh my goodness, this looks like it's going to be a huge year for the Disney movie franchise. That means Marvel, Pixar, classic Disney movies, and so on and so forth. I am incredibly excited for the new movies that the Disney franchise has to offer this year. If you're as excited as me, definitely make sure to hit that like button. Let me know how excited you truly are about the Disney movies coming out this year. And with that, let's get on to my top five list of most anticipated Disney movies of 2017. Starting off the list with number five, finally a Marvel-produced Spider-Man movie. We've been waiting for this movie for a long time. I know I have. The Spidey Sense tingling, web-slinging Spider-Man made his debut in Captain America Civil War and is finally now getting his very first Marvel Universe movie in 2017. Spider-Man Homecoming, July 7th. One of the funny things is I hated the first look at Spider-Man before Civil War came out. I thought every aspect of him looked way too cartoonish and I wasn't buying it. Then seeing him in action, I can safely say this is by far my favorite rendition of Spider-Man to date. In Civil War, we learn that Spider-Man has had his powers for approximately six months. The events at the airport give us a rough estimate of how experienced he truly is with his powers. According to CinemaBlend.com, various interviews with cast members and filmmakers have revealed key bits of information. As mentioned earlier, one of the key parts of this version of Spider-Man is his youth. And the script by John Francis DeLay and Jonathan M. Goldstein will be taking full advantage of that. The film has been described as a John Hughes-inspired coming of age. I love that we finally have an actor like Tom Holland playing this Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire nailed the nerdiness, like average everyday guy becoming Spider-Man, and then Andrew Garfield nailed the Spider-Man coolness. He was just way too cool. But Tom Holland takes the nerdy side and the coolness side and intermingles them for a John Hughes Spider-Man. In my opinion, how Spider-Man is supposed to be. The trailer has given us multiple snippets into what to expect from the movie, but my biggest excitement revolves around the further character development between Tony Stark and Peter Parker. I love how much an inspiration Tony Stark is to Peter Parker. I don't really blame him. Not only that, but the trailer really emphasizes that this is officially Spider-Man crossing over into the Marvel Universe, and we will definitely be seeing so much more of him. With that being said, Spider-Man is a solo hero and doesn't really team up much like at all so what we get from Tony Stark in these trailers will most likely be what we're getting for the entire movie and that's completely fine I would much rather have it that way but it does like I said it does give like this is Marvel this movie is Marvel here's a bunch of Marvel characters this is Marvel Another thing that I really, really, really love about this movie is that it doesn't look like we're going to be sitting through another intro of Spider-Man, like the backstory and everything, because we all know that we don't need another one of those. We've had it twice, three times, four, five. We don't need it. And I love that Marvel recognizes that and just kind of throws us right into the middle of everything. Like a few months after he's gotten used to his powers. Like, that's awesome. Guardians of the Galaxy. Volume 2. Set to be released May 5th, 2017. This is the sequel to one of Marvel's most massive hits. If you're like me, you had no idea what you were getting yourself into with the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. You heard a few people talking about it, and you were just like, you know what? So many people are giving this movie so much praise, I might as well just go and see it. And from that moment on, you fell head over heels in love with Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, Groot, and Rocket. I was not the only one that just jammed out the entire movie and then went straight home and downloaded that entire soundtrack and played it over and over and over again all year round and still to this day jams out to it constantly. Now the unlikely guardians are back to defend the galaxy along with newcomers such as Mantis and Star-Lord's dad planet thing, Ego, played by Kurt Russell, the man behind Walt Disney's dying words, and many other things as well. Judging by the teaser trailer, which you can watch my reaction to right here, this is going to be an awesome sequel, and I really do not think any of us are going to be disappointed. Now when I first heard that this movie was coming out, I was like, eh, and then after watching the teaser trailer, I was like, huh, 
Number three on this list is none other than Cars 3. I am so excited that we're finally doing a Cars sequel. They've already made a Cars. Shut up. We don't talk about that. June 16th, Lightning McQueen is revving up his engines for what looks like could possibly be the very last time. The trailer's dark, the vibe is gritty, and just from the first 30 second clip already looks like what a Cars sequel should be. The plot synopsis, according to John Lasseter, we've got some new characters, there's some great racing in it, and it's a very emotional story. I feel like this movie will be a story about Lightning McQueen struggling to stay in the game, possible retirement, and being outshined by a brand new racer, Jackson Storm. Enlisting in the help of Cruz Ramirez, will Lightning McQueen have what it takes to pull through within the new world of high-tech racers? Number two. The Last Jedi. That title. What does this mean? What about Rey? What about Luke? Remember, Jedi is plural. What does all this mean? Coming to our world from a galaxy far, far away, December 15th is the second movie in the new Star Wars trilogy. Not much has been released about this Star Wars, but what has been released is that this will be continuing the adventures of Luke, Rey, and Leia. I have so many questions, so many theories. Is Rey Luke's daughter? What's happening to Kylo? Who is the last Jedi? Now I know how a lot of us Star Wars fanatics are, so I know that a lot of you are probably sitting on the edge of your seats with anticipation. Is he gonna say something about the movie? Is he gonna spoil something? What's going on, even though all I've been doing is asking a ton of open-ended questions. But to steer clear of spoiling anything, we're gonna move on to my most anticipated movie of this year. Last but certainly not least, Tale as Old as Time, Song as Old as Rhyme. Ooh, ooh, it's Beauty, it's and, Beauty the and the Beast. Yeah, thank you. Yeah! Almost 26 years after the animated masterpiece hit the big screens and put audiences all over the world in awe, comes the live action adaptation of it. March 17th, 2017, Emma Watson takes on one of Disney's most beloved roles as Belle. All of our beloved characters are back and they've brought back along adaptations of the songs, scenery, story, and heart. There's no need for me to go into this plot because I'm sure that 99% of us already know what's going on and know what's gonna happen, but just the way that it's portrayed is just phenomenal. Now I know that there's a ton of opinions behind this already and a lot of people are giving it a lot of Black, but I am overwhelmed by how amazing this looks honestly like I have a little bit of my own like opinions here sprinkle a little bit of a criticism on uh, this movie but for the most part besides the CGI of the beast the visuals look amazing the music oh my gosh from what I've heard sounds phenomenal Beauty and the Beast is one of my most favorite films of all time and I have so 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 much faith in this live adaptation of it. Emma Watson's singing voice has gotten a ton of flack, but I I truly like it, like honestly. Like for a live adaptation of a animated film, one of the things that you can't really do, like for animation, everything is animated. So the voice needs to be animated, but for live adaptations of stuff, you gotta be a little bit more like realistic with it. When you guys see the movie, you guys will understand exactly what I'm talking about. So in my opinion, everything was great about Emma Watson's singing voice. So in my opinion, Emma Watson's singing voice was great. It was phenomenal for what it needed to be. Minus the blatant auto-tune, which was also in You're Welcome in Moana, but I also love that song. Ariana Grande and John Legend killed that title song. Like seriously, I absolutely love Ariana's singing voice. Like I don't really care for her like actual music and like what she produces, but it is amazing. Like, they did a bang up job. Oh my goodness, I think I cried. And I, I'm just, who? I'm a little bit worried about how I'm going to be reacting in the theaters. It was that good. All of the characters look fantastic, the scenery looks immaculate, and the trailers just scream magic. And yet again, this is another case of me hating a movie before I even seen anything of it. Right from the beginning, I'm gonna t be honest with you guys, I thought that this movie was gonna be terrible. I hated the CGI with the Beast, I hated, hated the faces and everything on the uh, animated objects. I was like most of the people giving Emma Watson flack for her singing voice, I really didn't care for it. But then after listening to it over and over and over again, I really don't think that they could have done 
anything different or anything better. And I trust Disney. I have faith in Disney. And I know that they're going to do a bang-up job with this. Well, guys, what Disney movie are you most excited for? Are there any movies that I didn't list that you're incredibly pumped for? There's a few that I really, really, really wish that I could have listed. Let me know what you guys think about these movies coming out. What are you most excited for with these particular movies? So make sure to leave a comment down below. Please make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell button to be notified whenever I make new Disney-related content on this channel. My name is Brandon Gosroar. I make Disney-related videos every single Tuesday and Friday. And with that, I leave you with two videos that I picked out especially for you. And I leave you with peace, love, unity, and respect. Bye, guys.